Hey man, we didn't left all that behind, man. We left all that behind. Uh, Not questioning nothing. Just you know, like like brothers, most of the brothers I always tell you, they testimony coming in the truth. Man, when I heard it, I knew that was it. Uh, and when they started reading, they left all that shit behind, man. Yeah, left all that shit. Man. You know, people that thought you thought was your friends, you found out quick they ain't your friends. Uh, yeah. The Lord already told you who your brother and your mother is. The ones who follow the will of the Father. And a and a and a and a hundred percent of a hundred percent of them didn't follow the father. That's why when you in the truth, the, the true homeboys you have, they ain't in it with you. It's always you meet somebody you don't know. The Lord bring you together with somebody else, man. Uh, the ones you grew up with from 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 the from the scratch, man, they ain't in it with you, man. Uh, so that we that's what we trying to do, man. We want them crowns, man. Uh, we want the crowns, brother. Yeah, like we were saying, my brother and my sister, yeah, that's Matthew 12 and 40, yeah. 47. Yeah, yep. You know? Nah, nah, we already did it, yeah. Yeah. You see something right here? It says, I don't know who did that. Uh, Matthew's, uh, oh, yeah, the regeneration. Yeah, the regeneration. Oh, yeah, the, uh, Matthew's, uh, what was it? 19, 28. Uh, go on, go on. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, Matthew's 19 to 29. But that was the edification to show that uh, that uh, he's going to be ruling. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. Lord willing. Uh, it set thrones in the kingdom. Uh -huh. You know, it was thrones in the kingdom. Uh -huh. You know. Uh, this is Matthew. That's what it's about, man. Rulership, man. Jake don't understand, man. It's about rulership, man. It's about ruling the earth, man. Uh, you know, that's what we striving for, man. To get delivered up out of here and rule the earth, man. You know, you know. I'm not talking about going to a job all day. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Fourteen hours. Then, then working at night shift. You know what I'm saying? Working graveyard shift. Man, that ain't life, man. Uh, Who told you that was life, man? Getting a check every mm -hmm. every week or every two weeks. Who told you that was life, man? Working the whole week just to wait on your check. Just to wait on your check. When the scriptures say you supposed to get, hey, get paid before the, yeah, get paid the same day and get paid with gold and silver. Uh, that's mm -hmm. real money. This an abomination, man. Uh, this ain't real money, man. Uh, it's like even with Esau, how they keep us doing these different shifts. See, when you when your body, man, if you want your body to be running on 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 that right that right wavelength, you have to have the same amount of sleep constantly every night uh, and go to bed the same time and wake up for uh, your body to be on that right level. Uh, but see, Esau, hey, you work day shift, night shift. See all that shit when you ain't getting swing the, yeah swing shift, the low shift, high shift. So when your body not getting that proper rest, man, you become uh, depressed, man. You have anger, you have ear, you be irritable, oh, you be sad. That's depression, man. And that depression, that's what causes uh, your different uh, body parts to fail when you have certain uh, uh, emotions, man. Oh, you know, and he saw know that shit. And then he studied working your ass 12 hours. He killing you, you know, he basically killing you, man. Taking you an hour to get to work and an hour to get home after work, so that's fourteen. He hours have a man. Done. He have a lot so to eat. You get there, all you, all you do is eat and go to sleep. He have a lot to pay for, man. God. He got a lot to pay for, man. How you fall with your affliction, man? You know. What you want me to do for you? What I gonna do? God. You done with that one? Verse 29. Yeah. This is uh Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake God. shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So we heard the word, all that life we was doing. In that way of life and that character, that character we had, we dropped all that and we followed the word. Just like when he when he seen uh, Peter and them fishing, he dropped what they was doing. He said, "Follow me, man." And that's what we did, man. Because a lot of brothers, they they didn't been into it with their parents over this word. God, 
you know, them so-called uh, uh, females that say they're your woman, you get into it with them over the word, you know? Get into it with them so-called buddies and stuff. And it happens to all of us, man. You know? Because they in that uh, American way of uh, ideology of Christianity. That's what they in. You know? They in that, into that. So they're not going to agree with what the scripture really truly is saying. So you're going to be into it with them. You know? We all done been through that, man. Alright. Go ahead. So, uh, I keep talking. Yeah, oh, we... I was, I was getting, I was getting, uh... Oh, it's magic. No. I was getting what you was, uh, what you was speaking on. Con, Edification. That is, that is word. Con. So we all been in, in that, man. Especially, like, with our parents. But then when they see... When they see you, uh, when they see you really dedicated, right? When they see you really, you really into it, then they kind of like step back, you know. Then they'll try to learn a little bit off of you, you know, to incorporate it what they think, you know. They'll come to you, they'll throw stuff out there they didn't heard to see what show take on it. Uh, uh, what you show them what the scriptures say, man. We all go through that, man. You go through that with your parents too, man. You know, with your parents, man. Right. You know, this is uh Matthews chapter four verse eighteen. All right, it says Yahweh and Yahweh shot walking by the Sea of Galilee mm -hmm. saw two brethren, Simon called Peter mm -hmm. and Andrew his brother, mm -hmm. casting a net into the sea. Go ahead. For they were fishers, and he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He said, Follow he him, and he will make us fishers of men. We throwing that net out there now with these scriptures. Every every time you see us on the YouTube, this the net we throwing out there. We trying to trap trap the elect, man. Cut. That's what we doing, man. We fishing right now. Bible is the bait. Word is yep. the bait. This the bait right here, man. And we fishing. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Cut. You know? As a matter of fact, get uh, Ezekiel uh, 34 and uh, 31. We'll get it, we'll get it. I know what it was. That's an edify about the fishes of men. I got Ezekiel 31. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and 31. And ye, my flock of my pasture. Are men. Huh. It said the flock of his pastor are men, man. So this word, it ain't for no women, man. It's too hard, man. Women not built for this, man. Con. They built to guide the house, man. This is for men, man. He, this this is hard out here. Con. You know, we've been standing out here a few hours in the straight sun. Beaming down on us, man. You know? Yeah. Well, women stand up. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, the women, I mean, they supposed to learn from their husbands. Con. They, they, they in their order. They supposed to learn, they supposed to be in their order, but they not. They want to corrupt. But then, they should be at home uh, bearing children and uh, cooking food barefoot. Con. That's their that's they job. Cooking dinner barefooted and bearing children. Having a hot and loving they, they loving their husband. You know? Con. Yeah. It's saying, uh, 34 and 31. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and 31. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men. Con. And I am your power. Look at the devil. Said the. <laughs> <laughs> what the police say? We're not into biggest day. He's going down the street. Yeah. Go to Proverbs 8. What a, what a, what a, what a, uh, Roman. Uh, centurion. Uh, centurion. See, if you come down that one way and bump him, you might get a ticket in your ticket. Yeah, if you're a Jake, you know, Proverbs 8, 4, you know, uh -huh. yep, this is Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 4, 
unto you, O men, I call. He said, unto you, O men, I call. Yahushua didn't go to no uh, women and say, follow me. <laughs> right? He didn't go to no men and say, follow me. I'm going to make you fish of men. He went to men, man. God. Fish of lively spirits. Lively spirits. God. Not no dead, not no dead fish. You know? So in this day and time, man, you don't see no women out here on these highways and byways, man. God. Being prophets, man. They call themselves prophetess in the church. Just like... And that ain't nothing but no, a, yeah. wife, a wife of a prophet. God. That's it. That's what you see them doing. And then I say, well, what about, what about when he said he would pour his spirit out on the women? Well, hey, if you get vision and you get dream, your husband, yep. if he understands the scriptures, is supposed to break it down, break it down to, to you, you and tell you what that dream talking about. God, that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Order. That's it. God. You know? Wow. But that 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 that, that so-called church, which is a harlot house, that's a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. They won't last out here. You see, them women, them women won't last out here, man. No. You know, and the most part not with them. They're crumbling fall. They try to come out here and teach. Uh -huh. Try to set up a camp. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but they'll come against. They'll come against us. Because of what we teach them, because they don't like the order and they hate y'all watching y'all with shot. God. You see? But they're going to control the environment. You know, coming out here, they can't do it, man. The whole pie a confounded. Because he's not with them. You know? Damn, we can motion real fast. Quick. You know? It worked out well when he saw this. <laughs> No. Yeah, you, uh, I got oh, one more. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. Yeah. Sons of man. In the Revelation uh, 21 and 3. And then get 1 Corinthians 11 chapter 4. This is Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. We can, we can end it off with whatever, whatever we got on. All right. Revelations 21 and 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the power is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And Yahweh himself shall be with them. All right, that's light. Mm. But we showed you. You know, he did it with the men, but it's order. Okay? You got to follow the order. If you don't want to follow that order, you're going to be destroyed. You know? God. 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Yahweh Shai. Now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Yahweh Shai is the power, the most high. Khan. It says, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonors her head. For that is even all one as she were shaven. Yeah, that's being put to shame, right? Mm -hmm. You know? If you got your head covered, you prophesy, you put your house shot a shame. And the woman shaving like that, she's going against the order. She putting her man, to, uh, to her head to shame, which is her man. Uh. You know? Uh. And that's the order. I'm looking for something. Else. Yeah, I don't know what I was looking for. Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, but you got something else? I'll yeah, I got, I got one scripture to get in with. All right. Oh, you can read it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, well, I just read the one I got. You read the one you find, wherever. Okay. Look, uh, Second Timothy three and seven. No, Second Peter three and seven. It's a lot. Skip a young guy. You tell me what the cap over. He's like, what's that right? This is Second Peter. <laughs> Second Peter chapter three verse seven. Uh -huh. But the heavens and the earth, which are now 
by the same word are kept in store, Done. reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. So these words are kept in store for the elect men to come out, right? If we are, if, if, if Lord willing, we them elect men to preach this word until the judgment comes, man. This word was kept in store, you know? A lot of people always want to know, well, what kind of Bible you read? What's that? It's, it's the same word that's always been kept in store, man. God. And it's for us to preach it until the end, the judgment comes, man, to the destruction of America, man. You know? And that's what it's, that's what it's for. You know? Y'all got anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, first Timothy, I mean, uh, second Timothy. I mean, First Timothy two and uh, thirteen verse. One to say, woman should not suffer glory over man. First Timothy uh, fifteen two and twelve. Suffer not two and twelve. Uh, two and twelve. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, three and eleven. Let's start that. God. This is First Timothy. I right, get that word up. You certain. Which we know it means dominion, but I want it in the etymology too. Go ahead. This is uh 1 Timothy chapter 2 and 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Verse 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach. No, I suffer not a woman to teach. That's why they don't like Paul. Give it to them uh, straight. They want you to lie to them. Because they've been uh, uh, deceived by the so called white man. That they can uh, uh, do that type of bad. Okay? Go ahead. The woman is not equal to a man in the eyes of Yahweh Shinawashi. In their eyes, they think that. But in the eyes of Yahweh Shinawashi, they're not equal. They're not supposed to be over a man. That's destruction. That's why the white man allowed that. Because he want to see. Uh, the destruction of our people. You know, the nigga like, you know, the name of America. Uh, you want me to read it, yes, sir? Uh, hold up, you're going to read it. I guess. Now I'm saying you're going to read it in the scriptures. Oh, okay. Then bring it out. Bring All right. It says, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, yeah. but to be in silence. But to be in silence, keep your mouth closed. Don't nobody like a bold woman running her mouth all in your face. God. And that's in the scriptures. That's in Sirach, the 22nd chapter. Matter of fact, we're going to get that. Talking about which game. Yeah, 22nd chapter in the round of. I want to say Sirach 22 and 5. Yeah, Sirach 22 and 5. Go ahead and get that up, son. Yeah, we're going to read that too. But you want to read it? Yeah. Usurp Greek 88, 831. Authentel, the uh, strong, it says, to act of oneself, dominate authority over. Yeah. Blue letter, one who is with his own hands, kill one or himself. One Number two, one who acts on his own authority <laughs> or autocratic. Yeah, Number one who acts on their own authority. Dominate. And that's what these women, that's what these women with their haughty, proud attitude uh -huh. do, try to do when it comes to the scripture. Okay? That's what they're doing in these churches. Okay? Number because three. It's allowed in this society, not according to the scripture, but according to this society, they they do that. Okay? Teach in all these churches. That pure man, they supposed to do that. Right. Absolute master for to govern, to exercise dominion over one. They ain't supposed to have dominion over one. Try to tell a man what he what he can and can't do according to the scripture. Right. They supposed to learn in silence. But that's how you know when these women come up talking and they call themselves learned in the Bible. As soon as they open their mouth and come against us, you already know they corrupt. They don't know, they don't know what's going on. 
That's why the Most High gonna destroy him. 